Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and welcome back to another episode of Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. We just found, <laughs> finally made our way out of the catacombs. I don't know what that was all on about. On the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. That's right. What should we do next, Holmes? We need to take a shower after all of that, after all of that in the catacombs, but... We've got analysis to do. Photographic development. Um, yeah, we need to piece this together. Uh, piece this plate together, I think. Can I rotate? I guess not. Um, this piece belongs here. Uh, this piece belongs here. Um, this piece belongs here. And... This piece belongs here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I have enough of the pieces. Do I? Maybe I do. Oh, maybe I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. There we go. Done. Watson, could you please use this negative and your photographic equipment to process the photograph? Yeah, I see the photograph. I see it already. Thank you, Watson. Uh, now I must use reagents to develop the photograph. Let's do it. Wipey, wipey, what? Ice cream in the desert? <gasps> I love ice cream. We are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. Oh. Oh, that's right. They did find a way. Right, because the Romans found the way to do... to refrigerate things. Yes, hence the refrigerarium. Uh, oh, salt and ice, of course, to make it colder. To make ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice. Sir Rodney. Oh. Ice cream in the desert. <laughs> we are indebted to the Romans who developed the technique. What does ice cream have to do with the, the murder? The pyramids of Giza in Egypt. Another archaeologist, most probably. Salt. Salt. So, so that's it. Salt and crushed ice may help to create ice cream. Mystery solved. Mystery solved. <sighs> Salt and ice. Um glass plate negative um, someone was experimenting with the Roman method of ice production but why because they might have made an ice weapon check if an ice knife can be created with the materials found I figured this is where this was going create an ice knife ice knife silver knife Gold knife. I've got. I'm gonna end up with three types of knives here: gold, silver, and ice. If I wish to shape the ice knife, then I need to pour water inside the mold. Right. And the ice knife would definitely ice, melt. Salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. We right. need to reach minus twenty degrees Celsius to fully freeze the water inside the mold. Before beginning. I must remember that I have enough ice and salt for no more than four attempts. Oh, great. I want to get down to 20. A block of ice. I have only to use my ice pick. All right, let's try one part ice. Oh, look. The temperature is reducing. Right. Get some salt. Okay. A 
block of ice. I have only to use my ice pick. Okay. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. We need to... Right, we do. Okay, and more salt. I don't know if I'm doing this right. to reset. Ugh. It's empty. Ice, salt, we cannot be making it correctly. Let us try again and be precise with the timing. Oh. Have to be precise with the timing. So... Let's try this again. If I wish... Yeah, water. I messed that up. Hold on. I didn't fully understand. Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be Oh, we haven't mixed. We need to reach minus 20 degrees Celsius. Before beginning, I must remember that I have... Ice and salt. Ice, a All block right. of... Ice, salt, and then the mixing. Ice. All right. Oh, look. The temperature is... What happens if I keep crushing ice? No, it's not going to work. There we go. Add more uh, more salt. That didn't work. I think I did this wrong. All right. Okay. There we go. Take it down to 20. Take it down even more. All right, we did this wrong. All right, my timing has to be even better. All right, I think I know how to do it now. Water. There we go. Ice before we. Yeah, we need to make get some ice. Oh, good. There we the go. Temperature is reducing down to 40 degrees and then we can add salt make that come down even more and then, ice yeah I know pour it in okay then add the salt then we use the ice it starts to heat up again. Okay. And then we use the salt. And then get the ice pick ready. There we go. I think we got it now. And salt. That should be enough. Ah, uh, ice. Did we make it? No. We cannot be making it correctly. Let us. I was so close. All right. Now I'm going. If now I, I have to. If I wish to shape the ice, need to pour. I know. I know. I know. Pour the water. This time I'm going to get the ice, ice pick ready ahead of time. Yeah. Break that ice. How Put good. it in. The temperature. Get the salt ready. Not right now, Holmes. I mean, not right now, Watson. Get the ice pick ready. All right. Pop it in there. There we go. Get the ice ready, the salt ready. All right. Get the ice pick ready. Gosh, I have to be so, like, precise. Get the salt ready. All right, 
Ice. This has got to do it. I'm gonna be very upset if this doesn't do it. Salt. Yeah, we got it. Down, 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 down. You thermometer. Excellent. Now we must check to ensure that it is adequately frozen. If I wish to shape the ice knife, then I... Ice, salt, and then the mixing. It should be elementary. Before beginning, I must... Wait. Ice. I already ice. did this. I already did this. What? Ice. Ice. Did this just bug out? Ice. Oh my gosh. Ice. Did this just bug out? And I can't reset. No. Ice. No. Ice. I don't know ice. why. <laughs> I, I had it. Ah! I had it right. Ice. I had it done correctly. Ah! This is so horrible. Ice. There. Ugh. I'm done with this experiment. I'd Excellent. rather make real ice cream. Now we must check to ensure that it is adequately frozen. Don't touch the water. There we go. An ice weapon for a cold-blooded murder. Okay. An ice knife. A surprising and yet a very brilliant idea. It's the perfect weapon. It enables one to kill a man, and then it melts. The only trace it leaves is a small puddle on the ground. Try to shape... yeah. Ice weapon. Champagne. Um, the presence of water is due to a humid atmosphere caused by the steam. The presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. Oh, there was water in the blood. Ice weapon was initially created and then preserved inside the champagne bucket. Oh. The murderer hid the weapon inside the ice bucket with champagne. After the attack, the knife was left to melt, so causing the excess of water in the blood pool. That makes sense, but that doesn't explain the silver in the brazier. Maybe it was just random? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Clever. Even before we, we molded, with all of the things with ice, like even when I made the, the plastic mold, the plastic knife, I was thinking, oh, the weapon was made of ice. And then, and then Holmes was like, well, let's try silver. I'm like, okay, but I still think the weapon is made of ice. Um, we still have to talk about the Mithraic mysteries, and then I think we'll have all of the clues necessary to solve this case. So let's go back to Scotland Yard. Now oh, that ex ice experiment was aggravating. So aggravating. Alright. Um. Who do I want to talk to? Mr. Garrow? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Mithras. The paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. Mm -hmm. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? <laughs> you mean the curse? Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> hmm. Let's talk Please to Mr. Blinkhorn. escort this suspect for interrogation. Not even mentioning to them that I have the golden knife. What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh, so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the golden knife? I see you are an amateur. Yes, the amateur. golden knife 
was our grail. Well. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. Uh, the knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one. And yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you are not initiated. <laughs> How inconvenient. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary. Uh, and we had hoped that... Uh, it is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. Hmm. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Hmm. I'm still not sure which one of these three Please I think Please escort is this suspect culprit. for interrogation. I have to do more deductions to figure out which one I think it is. I've, I still have to figure out which one is the murder weapon. I think Perhaps it's the Perhaps you could one, explain though. the cult of Mithras to me. No. There is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was. He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Garrow. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So it looks like I've gotten all the clues. I think I've gotten all the clues that I can. Ice knife. An ice cast in the mithril knife. Legendary, the legendary Mithras Tarakni knife. Negative. Silver knife. Weapon shape. Okay. Let's do some deductions, guys. We need to solve this case. Garrow's behavior. Everyone has noticed that Garrow has been acting very strangely and complaining about frightening hallucinations. Garrow's drug. Garrow is tortured by his obsession with the Mithras curse. He has been driven insane, a condition worsened by the medication he has taken. Garrow is a melancholic. He is a victim of overmedication, hence the hallucinations and unpredictable behavior. His state has been worsened by the shock of Sarandi's death. Huh. Garrow's weakness, maybe? I don't know. I'm not. The jury's still out on that one. And then the last effect of arrival. Sarani's arrival saved the archaeological research of the baths. Sir Gregory wanted the fire to fire Blinkhorn in order to stop the excavation of the Roman baths so that he might open them to the public. Blinkhorn's humiliation. Blinkhorn's work was saved by the arrival of Sir Rodney, but at a high cost to his morale. Blinkhorn's interest. Blinkhorn's work was saved by the arrival of uh, Sir Rodney. He was thankful for the possibility of their working together and the chance of learning from him. Oh, gosh. Pitkin's hopes. Oh. Motive, vengeance. Blinkhorn is a deserving specialist who is aware that he is about to be cast aside over a major discovery. He will lose his chance of a lifetime. Blinkhorn with the ice knife. Oh, jeez. He killed Sir Rodney to avenge an abuse of power. The death would be up to his beneficial, to his financial benefit, and would allow him to emerge as a luminary in his field. He used an ice-made reproduction of the golden knife of Mithras. Blinkhorn knew of Ben. Blinkhorn knew of Bencliffe's intention to take all of the credit for the discovery of the Golden Knife. He devised a cunning plan to eliminate Bencliffe, and for this he deserves the rope. He devoted his life to discovering the Golden Knife, and the credit was about to be stolen by Bencliffe. If he had been given the opportunity to claim ownership of the discovery, he would have killed Bencliffe. Um... Cause unexplained clue. Yeah, I mean the only way. Yeah, with a silver knife. I don't think I don't think that there's an unexplained clue. The only unexplained clue. The only unexplained. There's a steam moisture, the ice weapon. Yeah, the only unexplained clue is. Um, Is 
of water is due to the humid atmosphere caused by the steam. The presence of the water in the blood is an unexplained food with some other to the murder process. Right. Yeah, the only thing about it, the silver weapon, I, I just don't know where that, that silver came from. Maybe it has nothing to do with the case. Maybe it has nothing, it just happened to be the silver just thing just happened to be there for whatever reason. I don't know. I guess I'm I'm here this is my problem is that I have a feeling if I was metagaming, guys, if I was metagaming um determining that this was an ice knife, I needed to find a lot of clues in order to reach this conclusion, in order to reach this deduction. I had to go through a lot more effort. I had to go through I had to essentially find almost everything, find every single clue in order to reach the ice knife deduction. If I was metagaming, I would say that because of that, this is the correct answer because, you know, from a video game development perspective, you want people to not actually, you want people to, to have a harder time getting to the correct answer. And one way of doing that is making the correct, quote unquote, the correct answer only become available if you find everything, if you find all the clues. And I kind of, if that is the case throughout this entire game, I don't really like that because then from a metagaming standpoint, it makes it a lot easier to determine like what the correct, um, who the correct culprit is and with what murder weapon and all that good stuff uh, because you are inclined to pick whichever one required you to find everything as opposed to actually making deductions um i, I don't know it's it seems like a, a really flawed way of a player to determine whether he is right or wrong is by saying well you know this is the clue again this is the clue that I can only get if I find everything, therefore it must be the correct answer. I don't like that. Um, so I'm a little disappointed if that's the case. They really should mix it up. Maybe, and maybe they do mix it up, I could be wrong. If the developers were smart, they should make it so that sometimes the right answer doesn't require you to find everything. Because, I, I don't know, maybe you actually have to use your head a little bit more and not rely on the fact that such and such a conclusion requires you to find requires you to find everything. Anyway, um, I'm not convinced it's Blinkhorn. Pitkin feels rather uncomfortable postponing the public opening of the Roman baths because of Sir Ron. He is angry because of this. Motive. Stop takeover. Even if Pitkin is the owner of the baths, he will surely lose them, for this major discovery will change everything. It will turn the baths into a permanent excavation site to preserve the research. It will never achieve the commercial status that Pitkin desires. Pitkin. He killed Sir Rodney to conceal their discovery, the only way to save the Roman baths from the upcoming excavations. He intended to start his own business, he used an ice-made reproduction of the Golden Knife of Mithras. Pitkin was humiliated by Sir Rodney, and so devised a plan to first eliminate him and then open the baths for business. He believed that the mystery of the murder would attract the public. That would be something that Pitkin would do. Pitkin was the legitimate owner of the baths, and Sir Rodney was about to take over the rights. If Bencliffe had accepted the compromise, Pitkin would not have killed him. Hmm... I could, I mean, you, it's interesting that you have the option to absolve these murders, but I don't know. A murder is a murder. A murder is a murder. I'm just like, I don't know. I guess depending on the situation. Mm. Garrow's weakness. Garrow's illness. Pitkin's hopes. Garrow's suffering was too great. After Sir Rodney's grand discovery, Garrow lived in fear of the Mithras curse and so developed heightened feelings of paranoia. Garrow. He killed Sir Rodney in a fit of obsession due to his intense nervous state. The only way to ease his suffering was to perform a ritual killing. He used an ice-made reproduction of the golden knife of Mithras. 
condemned Garrow, sent into the asylum, he is a psychopath, and we are unable to determine if his actions are deliberately manipulative or due to genuine illness. He needs to be put away for life. Absolve Garrow, send him to a sanatorium for appropriate treatment. He cannot be held responsible for his crime, and he was under the strong psychotropic effect of Sir John's ward. He may yet be cured. Gosh, I don't know, guys. It really could be any of these three. How am I going to determine which one? I think... I don't know. Evidence. Ice knife. Golden knife. Negative. Who said... Somebody said that Sir Roderick brought the ice. Who said that? Mithras. Ice maker. Mold. Statue of Neptune. Roman coin. Weapon shape. Hmm. The Sir Rodney's ring. Drugs. Letter. Any and one of these three people could have done it. I don't see the thing is I don't see Garrow getting all the way to the. I don't see Garrow getting all the way to the catacombs. According to to. To Sherlock, um, the murderer reached the end of the catacombs. For some reason, he decided that. Chilled champagne. Unopened bottle of champagne and ice bucket was found in the bath changing room. Who said that Sir Roderick must have brought the... Scotland Yard interrogation room. The golden knife, the mummy, the Roman coins, knife is killing the gold. I wish there was a search option. Who said that Sir Roderick brought in the, the run in the champagne? Percival. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the change room? No, I did not. What can you tell me about the Mithras? Huh. Did you bring the bottle? Absolutely not. Sir Rodney did, I think. Ooh. Sir Rodney did, I think. Did he say that? Because he was trying to get us off his trail for being the one with the ice knife? I don't know. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. I mean, Blinkhorn could have been lying. If I pin it on Pink, I feel like if I pin it on Pitkin, that's almost too obvious. Pitkin, out of the three, he's the most sleazeballish. He's the most sleazeballish of the three. Um, what's his name? Blinkhorn seems to be the least likely because he seems so. Per he seems like personable and a mean. Like he seems like a nice, a nice guy, and he's been very helpful. So, but then you know that could be reverse psychology. They might think. The developers might make you think, oh, he's such a, he seems like such an okay fellow. He obviously is the killer, you know, but then you're like, but is he the killer? And then this guy, I mean, he could be absolutely insane. It's hard because, I mean, he, he might have been capable of killing him, but he also doesn't necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean that he, just because he's a little insane doesn't mean he did it. This is hard. This is really hard. I don't think... My gut is telling me Garrow had nothing to do with it. If I'm listening to Holmes and saying that he made it to the end of the... the end of the puzzle room or whatever. If I'm listening to that, I don't think... I, I, my gut is telling me that Garrow is not the one who made it out there. It's one of these two. One of these two made it out there. I need some more time to think, guys. Um, 
Yeah, and I think I'm going over my time, so stupid ice. It's, just, it's I blame the, the ice experiment. Anyway, in the next video, I'm going to actually decide who I think is the murderer, and I guess you will f we'll find out exactly who that will be. So thank you for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.